What's up everyone? It's Ricky Lopez. So we gonna so one thing that I just realized, one thing that I just realized is that we are in April. So and April is almost over, believe it or not, we're like halfway there. And so I just realized that we're literally one fourth or no one third, one third of you know the year. And I just want to give an update, and I feel like you guys should too. Like, give an update, comment down below how your year is going. And, you know, let's get right to it. So, it's April. Uh, I guess we got, what, like, I guess we got, like, eight months left in the year. And let me say, let me say this. This is insane because I remember 20, uh, 2019, that was a very difficult year. It was a difficult and incredible, it was the, it was like one of the best worst years ever. It was just so incredible how things went spiraled up and down and it, and you know, it was just incredible. Um, 2020, you know, when 2020 came, I, I knew what I had to do and that was, the only thing that I had in mind was obviously compete a whole lot. Um, one of the things that I, you know, when I was a white belt, obviously I couldn't compete right away as a white belt because obviously in jujitsu, when we're talking about jujitsu, we're talking about jujitsu. Um, you can't. I mean, I guess you could theoretically go to a competition and you know compete, but for me, like I took like a year. I took like a couple of times. I I took like a good old year, you know, just training and stuff. And then after that year, I started doing competitions. However. This year, or for 2020, what I had planned was I wish I initially planned to, once I got my blue belt, just get it, like, let's compete. Like, everybody around me was like, you know, I was like, well, once I get my blue belt, you know, I might as well take a year off and, you know, you know, might as well take 2020 off and just, you know, train. And then everybody around me was like, no, man, now you're a blue belt, now you're doing blue belt, now you need to do blue belt competitions. And I was like, okay, if you think I can do it, I'll do it. And then slowly... I begin to realize, you know what, once I get this blue belt, I'm going to go ahead and compete. So I already did like a schedule of all the competitions that I was going to do, and that was that. And in terms of my artistic world, the, art the, the artistic world, um, that was pretty interesting because I initially was going to uh, finish wrapping up, mm, I, was, I was initially going to finish wrapping, you know, uh, a, a little comic book series. Um, it's not really a series, it's more like a, it's a series that's broken into three parts, and I, ju I just finished like the, um, so, I just been, I, I was planning to finish the second part of the entire, of the entire, um, you know, the, the entire thing, and it's complicated, but like, I, I was, I was planning to finish like, maybe, you know, maybe like 15 or, now 14 stories, all together so I was planning on finishing that honestly I'm not gonna front I was literally planning to finish that like in June <laughs> I was literally gonna like I had it in my schedule like I'm gonna finish this whole graphic these all these graphic novels in June and this whole it did not work out that way because I ended up finishing it in back in March so now I have these two months I had all this April and I had all this June free I was like oh snap like I got extra time to do other stuff so yeah I was planning on you know doing my graphic novels and go ahead and do most of my uh go go ahead and do more digital artwork on the weekends and so far so good I mean I did yeah I mean but given to the state of the world now obviously competitions are off are they're complete like I don't I don't see myself competing anytime soon. Everybody says it's gonna. This whole issue is gonna. Is this whole issue, in my opinion, is gonna last for a while? It's not gonna go away anytime soon. I'm. I'm. I'm just now like training myself, training my mindset that this is the new normal. Like this is how it's gonna be for a long time. So you know you're in for a ride. So I went ahead and go ahead and um, went ahead and decided to dedicate a whole lot of my time to art. Cause let's just be honest, like there's no way it's gonna be a while before people get back to normal and back to how things used to be. So I went ahead and decided since I've already finished most of my all my graphic novels that I needed to finish for the rest of this year, I decided to go ahead and you know pursue on focusing more on my digital art and also on photography. And also, since I'm not competing anymore, 
I decided that I said, well, I still need to be, be in shape, so I'm gonna still keep with the workout that I have. I'm not gonna stop that little workout whatsoever. So that's pretty much it. Um, things are crazy because I feel like uh, things really got cut short. Like, whoosh, like I finished things early, so I'm now moving on to the next things or some things I can't do anymore, so I have to switch things up. So that's pretty much my spiel on you know this year so far. Uh, comment down below with how your year is going. <laughs> uh, you know, please don't make it gloomy, y'all. Please don't make it gloomy. So comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time.